What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and remember, real ones ring the bell. Today, I've got a treat for you. Maybe a little bit overdue, but whatever, man, don't judge me. Today, we are going over the gnawing hunger god roll for both PvP and PvE. Yes, technically I went over this gun lightly in a previous video. That covered multiple auto rifles in D2 of the 600 RPM variety and what to look for on each one. We did cover four guns in that review, however, so today we're going to spend all our time and effort focusing on just one, the incredibly powerful and easily farmable Gnawing Hunger. But you know before we get there, I gotta shout out the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped. Fellas, with the right tool, like a gnawing hunger per se, you can clean up jabronis in PvP with minimal effort. In the same vein, if given the right tool, you can clean up your IRL primary weapon with minimal effort. Enter Manscaped and their Perfect Package 3.0 kit. They created the world's first manscaping kit that makes cleaning up downstairs easier than ever before. Their safe and easy to use clippers are USB powered and waterproof. You can save time and use the damn thing in the shower if you want to. Now that's what I call optimal. Looking to do a little more cleanup? Well, check it, because now you can also pick up the Weed Whacker nose and ear trimmer. Just a little trim here and there, and boom, you're no longer looking like a quarantine hermit grandpa. Don't be a friggin' blueberry when it comes to your own hygiene, boys, and get 20% off your order along with free shipping on your Perfect Package 3.0 kit when you use promo code FP20 at manscaped.com. That's promo code FP20. 20 at manscaped.com and thanks again to the folks at Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. All right, back to the gnawing hunger. Why should you care about getting a god roll? Well, first of all, the gun is disgusting. 600 RPM auto rifles are still hella powerful in PvP. Not only do they have a very fast time to kill, but they are incredibly forgiving. Doesn't matter if you miss a shot or two on an enemy in a duel because the gun fires so fast, you'll pick up your mistake in no time. Also, don't forget that auto rifles have rock solid range and can challenge pretty much any weapon at medium to medium long distance. But the absolute cherry on top of our overpowered Sunday is that the gnawing hunger is absurdly easy to farm for. All you gotta do is head down to Drifter's prismatic recaster machine in the tower, get a focused umbral engram, and you've got a 50% at decrypting it into a gnawing hunger. That is really not bad. Your odds at eventually getting a decent roll are very good, so might as well go overboard with farming until you get one that you're happy with. Let's move on to the gun itself, and like always, we're going to start off over in the far left column. Quick heads up about the numbers on our perks today. Normally, when I share numbers on gun perks, I use the base numbers offered up on light.gg. I've realized that that can be confusing though, because light Light.gg only uses the base numbers for that perk, but doesn't adjust them when applying it to the gun in question. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about? Most of us know that accurized rounds in column 2 is plus 10 to range, right? Well, that's accurized rounds in general at base value, but that number can change depending on what weapon that perk gets slapped onto. If you take accurized rounds and slap it onto a gnawing hunger auto rifle, it's plus 9 range. Figured today and moving forward, I'll be using the exact numbers as applied to each individual gun. I'm hoping that makes things easier? Don't worry, it doesn't really change up the overall info. Anyway. The Gnawing Hunger doesn't have different scope options. Your scope is carved in stone, and instead we have different barrel options to choose from. Here's where I have to start making distinctions between people who play controller versus people who play mouse and keyboard. Take a look here real quick. Like with most guns, the Gnawing Hunger controls far easier on M and K. Stability isn't totally worthless for M and K players, but it means a little bit less to them and means much more to folks on controller. For the controller peeps out there, we've got a few good options to consider. Mainly arrowhead break, chambered compensator, small bore, and polygonal rifling. Polygonal gives a plus 9 to stability, which is going to help your hunger be more stable overall. Small bore is a nice bump to both range and stability, two important stats for the gnawing hunger. Corkscrew is kind of like a worse small bore with a plus 4 to handling, but still good overall. Chambered compensator 
gives a 9 buff to stability and a 10 buff to recoil direction, while Arrowhead Break gives a straight up 30 buff to recoil direction. For those of you keeping track at home, a plus 10 takes the gnawing hunger up to a 64 recoil direction and a plus 30 takes it up to an 84 recoil direction. If you're annoyed by the default 54 recoil on the hunger, maybe go for Chambered Compensator or Arrowhead Break. If the bounce intensity don't bother you none, then go for whatever you value more, range or stability. Overall though, I might be leaning towards small bore for the seven to six split between range and stability. M&K players, if you find the extra stability helps you, go for that. But if you feel fine controlling your hunger already, you want range. Hammer Forged Rifling gives you a flat 9 buff to range. That's probably the ideal drop because it doesn't provide penalties to anything else, including handling. If those types of penalties don't bother you so much, you could also go for Extended Barrel, which also gives you 9 to range and 10 to recoil direction, but a minus 9 to handling. You could probably easily make up the difference with a plus handling armor mod. Moving on over to column two, we've got eight options here and surprise, surprise, we actually have to make a real decision today in column two because the gnawing hunger cannot drop with ricochet rounds. Now that is highly unfortunate. If it were there, that would probably be the hands down winner, but it's nowhere to be found. So let's see what we got. Accurized rounds is here. For M&K players, that might be your straight up hands down winner for PVP. Again, if you feel fine with your current level of weapon control. If you're interested in a PVE god roll on your gnawing hunger, you may want to consider tactical appended or extended mag. In PVE, you don't really have to worry about getting out one v one by a thrall, so it's totally fine to focus on extra magazine size so you can cut through trash longer before needing to reload. Controller folks looking for a good PvP roll though have four options, and two of them have drawbacks. Tactical Mag and Flared Magwell both come with an extra four stability, which is great. Again, controller people value stability a little bit harder than our MK brethren, so both of those are fine options. Accurized Rounds is also there, and while 9 range is solid on paper, the downside is you will get no stability buff, which you could always use. Steady Rounds is the fourth controller option. It does grant a very schmexy plus 13 to your stability, the heaviest stability buff on the table, but it comes with a minus 4 to your range. That's not really going to hurt the performance of your weapon wildly, but just know it may affect your reticle stickiness and damage drop off points in a 1v1 gunfight. Your call though. It's really hard to give a straight answer with both column one and column two these days because a lot of it boils down to user preference. Remember, good news is that the hunger is crazy farmable. So go stockpile a buttload of guns, tinker around with all the options and figure out what feels good to you. Let's move on to column three where we can get a little firmer giggity with our overall picks. We've got five options here and bad news, not a ton of crazy good ones, but hey, that means we can weed out bad picks pretty easy. Speaking of bad picks, let's knock auto loading holster off the list right now. This perk can be fine for things like rocket or grenade launchers, anything where reloading the gun per every shot can quickly turn into a big pain in the ass. Gnawing hunger doesn't really have that problem. I appreciate a free reload, but we got better options on the table here. Next up, we have field prep, not a terrible perk. If you pair it together with something like kill clip or multi kill clip in column four, the fast reload when crouching can be very appreciated. For PVE, this might be worth a look, but if you want a hot PVP roll, I think we can do better. Subsistence. Now, if you're here looking for a PVE god roll, this might be your winner for column three. Your reserve capacity gets trimmed a little bit, but kills will partially reload your mag right from the reserves, not friggin' bad. You pair this together with something like Swashbuckler or Rampage in column four, you're good to go, kid. Usually, Swash or Rampage annoys me because by the time they activate, maybe you gotta reload because you might be low in the magazine, but Subsistence alleviates that by a fair amount. The two remaining perks are both what you probably want on your gnawing hunger in the land of PvP, Zen Moment and Tap the Trigger. Controller folks would probably be okay with either perk, while MK players might only be interested in Tap the Trigger. Zen Moment gives more stability as you cause damage with your weapon 
happen. Controller players will, more often than not, appreciate that a little bit more. Tap the trigger grants not only stability, but improved accuracy on your initial trigger pull. That's something that everyone can get behind. Here, look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Courtesy of my good friend, Mercules from the Massive Breakdown podcast. This is his visualization of both the aim assist cone and accuracy cone in D2. I've made videos in the past that dive into cone discussion a tad more, but for right now, all we gotta say is that tap the trigger likely improves your weapon's accuracy cone. That means that in a gunfight, the perk is probably gonna keep your cone tighter for a little bit longer right off the bat, which means you'll likely have an easier time landing shots and prolonging the effects of bloom. Sweet deal, right? Well, the bad news is that tap the trigger only lasts for a very short window of time. I say though that anything you can do to improve your weapon's accuracy though, you should be all over, especially when the other perks in the column aren't terribly hot to begin with. Remember that you can repeatedly proc tap the trigger by simply letting go of the fire button after a while and quickly re-hitting it. Yeah, you'd be pausing your rate of fire for a fraction of a second, but could be worth to proc the perk, especially if you're ducking in and out of cover during a 1v1 gunfight. My PvE winner for column 3 is Subsistence, and my PvP winner is Tap the Trigger. Moving right along to column 4, and I got great news. Every perk in this column is pretty much a confirmed banger. Extra damage as far as the eye can see, and yeah, one perk that doesn't give extra damage, but A, that's a great perk too, and B, if you have Umbral Enhancement 3 unlocked on your Prismatic Recaster, that means that any gnawing hunger you get from an Umbral Engram will have two perks drop in column four, meaning no matter what, you're gonna get an extra damage perk on your hunger. So what do we get? On your PVE god roll, I'm gonna recommend Demolitionist, Rampage, or Swashbuckler. Demolitionist, because we currently have access to Oppressive Darkness on the Seasonal Mod, one of the best debuff mechanics in all of PVE that relies on your grenade. Demo gives you a faster nade charge time on kills, meaning more Oppressive Darkness to throw around. Easy enough, right? Rampage and Swashbuckler, though, are for straight up murdering trash at an alarming rate. Rampage Page steadily racks up with each kill to a max level of 3, while Swash can instantly hit its own max level of 5 by meleeing one enemy to death. I personally prefer Swash because I think it's quicker to get up to your maximum, but all three of these perks rank high in my book for PvE. For PvP, honestly, any of these perks would be great, but I recommend some higher than others. Demolitionist, again, I think is underrated. If you're running a build where you use your grenade a ton, Skipnade Hunters, Handheld Supernova Warlocks, whatever, Demo is your best friend. For the rest of us who like to power up your gun and then carve through people, Kill Clip and Multi Kill Clip are champions champions of PvP, but if you're asking me, my personal PvP winner is Kill Clip. I know, big surprise, right? Mainly because I play mostly Trials, and with three enemies on the field, you're probably gonna get more value out of Kill Clip. In 6v6, with a lot of targets to shoot, you might get more value out of Multi Kill Clip, but that's your call. If you put a last word to my head for a PvP god roll, yeah, I'm going with Kill Clip. But the fact that so many good perks can drop in column four, and you can get your hunger to drop with two of them, it's really hard to go wrong with whatever you get. For your weapon masterwork, depends on if you're looking for a PvP or PvE god roll. If you want a PvE god roll, believe it or not, you may actually want reload. Again, reloading is annoying in PvE, and you want to try to minimize that whenever you can. For PvP though, you want one of two things, range or stability. Whichever one you value most is going to be personal preference. On controller, I go stability. On M and K, I go range. But you're different than me. Figure out which feels better to you and cross your fingers that you get it. All right, let's review. What is our gnawing hunger god roll? This might get messy. Let's try and flesh it out. For our PvE god roll, column one, one is user preference. Column two, I vote appended mag or really any of the improved magazine size perks. Column three is subsistence and column four is rampage, swash, or demolitionist. For masterwork, I vote reload. You could also go with the curated roll, by the way, which is the only way to obtain overflow. Great perk for PVE, but you have to play gambit or reckoning in order to get that roll and F that noise. For our PVP god roll, column one, again, user preference based on your input method. Column two, for M and K, I vote accurized rounds, but use whatever you like. 
and for controller, tactical mag, flared mag, well, or steady rounds, but again, use what feels good to you. Column three, I'm going hard on tap the trigger, no matter what your input method is. Maybe also zen moment for the controller folks, and column four, either kill clip or demolitionist, but really, any perk in that column is a winner. For Weapon Masterwork, stability and range are both champions. Go for whichever one feels better in your hands. And there you have it, our gnawing hunger god rolls for both PvE and PvP. Booyah. Final reminder that farming for this weapon is just so painfully easy. If you're looking for a good energy auto rifle for Crucible or PvE and you don't want to bother getting the summoner in trials, no problem. The gnawing hunger is straight up gross and you'll be tripping over rolls at the tower in no time. If you found today's video helpful in any way, please click the like button and remember to hit subscribe and help me get one step closer to my goal of one day taking over the world. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you